Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I made this TVA official handbook and uh, a lot of the problems that I had while making it. So we'll jump right in. First, I cut out a bunch of pieces of paper. They were 5 and 10 sixteenths of an inch wide and 8 and a quarter inches tall. This was just to match the sheet of pleather that I had. After I cut out all the pieces of paper, I took a a corner rounder thingamajig. I don't know. Basically, you put the piece of paper in, and then you go like this. It's like a hole punch, and it rounds the rounds the corner off. This is useful for a lot of things. So I did that to all the pieces of paper, and I hot glued along the spine. Then I took my pleather that I had, which was bright pink, and I painted it orange to make the cover. Uh, I, I used the, the corner punching tool to cut out a little template, and then I used the template and some scissors to cut round corners on the orange. After I did that, I printed out some of these TVA uh, insert the inside of the cover. It's just the TVA logo over and over again. I'll share all the files that I used for this uh, so that if you want to make something similar or the same thing, you can do it. I took the inside covers that I printed out and I glued them to several sheets of cardboard from the cover of a notebook. So I layered two pieces of cardboard from the notebook and then glued the TVA inside cover to the top of that for the front and the back, and I rounded the corners of the cardboard as well. I glued those into the now orange cover, uh, just lining them up where it makes sense that they would be lined up, uh, fairly straightforward. I glued them with hot glue, and then while I was working on that, I started tracing uh, designs from the show into the inside of the uh, TVA handbook. So I did this one, it says Tidy Timeline, Stable Society. All of these that I used to trace into this book are going to be available in the description in a Google Drive folder. Uh, subscribe <laughs> if you found it helpful. Uh, I did that one. I made this one slice per week. This I copied out of the inside of a Disney pin of the handbook. Ooh, that's not sitting right. Yeah, this is my first time trying to make a book sort of thing like this, so it's fairly sloppy. Uh, I'm sure you could do way better, but I learned some stuff. The other one that I did was this practice portal safety, and then the variants, and I thought, this was super cool. I saw both of these in the end credits of the show. I just really like the design. It's super fun. The other, the other one I did was this one of Ouroboros, who wrote the book. Uh, I This one I just printed out, cut to the size of the paper, and used some Mod Podge to glue into the front of the book. Now, to do the text on the front, this is definitely not the best way to do it, as it completely... It didn't work completely, as you can see. There's like a lot of mess in the in the text. I three D printed the a stamp uh, for the front, so I got a TVA logo, wrote official handbook, volume, you know, TM two four six nine, whatnot by Ouroboros, and I reversed it, put it on a flat plane, and I covered that in rub and buff which is like a mixture of wax and metal powder, rub and buff gold. And then I kind of used it as a stamp and just pressed it onto the front. I had to do this a couple times to get the m most detail that I could. Oh. And uh, didn't completely work. As I probably mentioned earlier, this is kind of just a record of what I did and some resources. This is not a great way to do it. <laughs> so that. I glued the pages in, like the text block, 
after I'd glued them all together on the spine, I just glued it straight in in between the uh, the cover and the back cover so that it would stay in, obviously, as a book is supposed to. And it's pretty much done after that. Unfortunately, the orange paint is peeling, as you can see, peeling off of the, um, of the cover. So I, this happened, I repainted it, and I'm going to repaint it again and then just not touch it too much. It's going to be kind of a display prop, I guess. It's really, <laughs> it's too bad. But all in all, that's the process I went through. If you want to try and make one yourself, I have all the pages linked in the description that I used and the 3D file for the, the stamp for the front. And uh, send me pictures or something. You can find my email up in the uh, about on the channel. I would love to see how you did it, if you did it better, whatnot. It's, it's a cool project. It was fun, but it didn't turn out completely how I hoped. So, thanks for watching this little recap. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Bye. If you like the Loki and Marvel content, I'm going to have some more of it. I'm planning on doing a Spider-Man effect video and a Tempad portal effect that I've already gotten figured out with a free After Effects template. And uh, I hope to see you in those videos.